Hi everyone, my name is Jeremiah with BikeWorks and uh, what we want to do today is do a real informal overview of a WebEx enabled conference room. So what we have here is this is the BikeWorks boardroom and uh, we have a long table here, seats 12 folks. Um, you'll notice that the surface of the table is very clean. All we have on the table is a Cisco Touch 10, touch pad, and right now my laptop. At either end of the table we have uh, some displays dual displays down here and a single display on the other end. Above the dual display we have a Cisco quad cam uh, speaker array that's connected to a RoomKit Pro codec and then at the other end uh, also connected to the codec is a Precision 60 presenter cam uh, which captures uh, people who want to get up and stand and present and we're going to just do a quick demonstration of this and, and run through some of the key features. Um, first and foremost, uh, the, the, one of the great things about the solution is designed for ease of use. It's designed so that when you walk into a meeting, you're not looking around for which phone to call on or fumbling through your email to, to find the correct invite and the access and the bridge number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so it's a really clean system. You just want to be able to come in and start your meeting, and we've got a feature called One Button to Push that allows that. So um, five minutes before the start of your meeting, the system will present your meeting, and you can just simply walk in and hit the big green Join button to start your meeting. Um, it's very convenient, and that's one of the whole ideas behind the solution is, is that when you book a room, um, that you can walk in and quickly and, and uh, effectively start your meeting. So um, we can do it that way. There's a couple other ways though that you can start your meeting. You can, you'll have your meeting schedule in your uh, computer applications, whether it be WebEx meetings, which is... Hi, would you like to join this meeting now? No, thank you. Okay, when you want to join the meeting, just say, okay, WebEx, join the meeting. <laughs> that feature I was about to cover, but uh, that's called WebEx Assistance, where it's a voice-enabled command that you can tell the system to join your meeting as well. So there's a couple options. We can come in and we can press the big green join button, or we can actually tell the system to start our meeting. So in this case, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, WebEx, start my meeting. Got it, joining the meeting. So uh, it's going to join me to the meeting. Uh, it's very convenient in that you know you don't even have to tell it; it will ask you. So so that feature just got demonstrated pretty effectively. But now we're in the meeting, and you can see all of the uh, participants that have joined the meeting are on video. Um, and right now the right screen is blank, as is the the back presentation screen, uh, because we're not sharing any content. But now that we're in the meeting, obviously it's going to be using this front camera to, uh, to see me in the local room here as I'm having my meeting. And right now I don't have any real remote participants, but that's where they'd be uh, via video. So let's say I want to share something now. I, um, we're all in the meeting. I'm talking to my colleagues or my customers, whatever the case may be, and I need to share with them a presentation. Uh, typically, when you go to share in a conference room, you're looking for you know, the VGA cable and maybe you're looking for an adapter to convert it to HDMI or DisplayPort and it's usually kind of a few minutes of, of, of rumbling and stumbling to try to be able to share out effectively and quickly. And so what's nice about this solution is, is that I can wirelessly share very easily from either my WebEx Teams app or my WebEx Meetings app. If you don't have those apps, let's say you're just a guest here and you don't necessarily have those applications but you still want to be able to quickly uh, share, you can just open up a web browser and go to devices.webex.com and it will allow you to um, wirelessly share as well. When I say wireless, it's not using the wireless network. It's not connected. You don't have to be connected to like a guest wireless SSID or corporate SSID in order to be able to wirelessly share. That's one of the convenient things about it is it uses ultrasound technology and you don't have to be on a specific wireless network to do it, which makes it super easy to do so. So I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm just going to use my WebEx Teams app to share. I hit share screen. I choose whether I want to share my full screen or a specific application. I can also choose right there, I didn't do it, but I can choose whether I'm sharing out audio or video and it will optimize it and give me up to 30 frames per second so you can actually share out moving motion uh, video uh, with audio and it looks really good and crisp. Um, I'm going to share out for the purpose of this quick demonstration a presentation. So a slide deck here. 
going to get over to that, so th thumb through my slide deck if I wanted to. And now everybody here in the room can see what I'm sharing out locally on either this screen or the far back screen. And the people connected remotely can easily share, see my content as well. Now this is where uh, this last feature I want to show in this quick video is the presentation uh, uh, feature. Not every system has this. This is an optional accessory, but you can add it on if the room is large enough and, and it makes sense. But I'm going to pr trigger something called presenter track. And the way that you do that is you go and you stand either in front of a podium or wherever you targeted your presentation zone is. So we target over here, so I just go stand over here. And standing in the right spot triggers presenter track. And you'll notice that it changed the layout of the screens. Now on the front two screens, I have the content being shared. And on the far screen, I actually have the, the remote video participants. Okay? What that's doing, the reason why it's doing that is so me as the presenter, I can stand here and I can see my local audience in front of me. And I can see my remote audience um, on the screens as I'm facing both audiences. It's very convenient. At that point, the camera over there is now following and tracking my movements. So as I start to walk across the screen and, and talk about my presentation, the camera actually moves with me. And those folks at home that are at home or remotely connected or in one of the other conference rooms or offices, etc., they see that camera follow me. And so it, it's a really good experience as far as me being able to present. Um, the other neat thing, this particular feature is called presenter track, but we also have what's called speaker track on the front system, and that's where it intelligently switches between my audience and myself. So that way, if someone in the audience asks a question, those remotely connected can see that person still, and it will utilize this front camera. So we're going to demonstrate that real quick. I'm going to ask my video man to ask me a question. It's going to pan on him, and then you'll see a split screen and see how that looks. Uh, yes, so what is your preferred method of sharing content and why? Well, I prefer sharing content wirelessly because it's just quick and easy. Um, the good thing about the system is I can always connect an HDMI cable to my laptop and share it out the traditional way if I wanted to. Um, and we have one in our table with a multi-prom for different inputs. So you can still address those physical sharing needs. But when you get used to wirelessly sharing, it's just so, such a quick and easy and effortless uh, task that that's really the way to go. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you. Okay. So that was a real simple question, but what the remote viewers got to see is when Rob asked me that question, staying there with the camera, the speaker track system was able to pick him up, and it does an automatic split screen so that the remote viewers can see both the present presenter and the local audience asking questions. So if we had a full room here, as people would speak up and ask those questions, it would transition and show, show a split screen of me, the presenter, and the folks um, uh, asking the questions. The whole system is designed to be automatic so that you don't have to have extra AV people moving cameras around and doing pan tilts and zooms and, and uh, adjusting what the video is displaying. It all just works um, and, and it works well. And so that's the experience that, that we at Byteworks are trying to bring our clients and what Cisco WebEx has done a really good job of is making it really as simple and as easy as possible to walk in and start your meeting. So with that, if you have any questions, please check out our website, byteworks.com, and we'd be glad to help you out.